I'm putting up the summer, come, I'm going AP Where the ring so be, you think I play for KC Trying to hit Johnny, have me shining like a star Look at my wrist, I could've went and bought a car The hood hot, so I ain't going to the raw Playing it safe, I'm down to Broward like Lamar My life a move Unit was surveilling a, a suspect for murder And uh, they also had probable cause on him for drugs so they proceeded to do a traffic stop. He was in a, an Uber, actually. Uh, saw us, pulled over, jumped out of the car, and started shooting at us. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, today, I want to talk about this whole Money Mitch. Ah. Uh, controversy surrounding his death man and um we're gonna get into this article talk about the article and after we get into the article we simply gonna give our opinions based on what they told us because some things aren't adding up and i just want to point those out man um as people already pointed out you know i'm kind of late on this video but at the same time i just want to get my little sauce on it and y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments below as well so don't forget to like comment share and subscribe hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content and i swear i swear i swear it's lit here so join one of the latest gangs on youtube to stay updated on some of the realest content all right now the article says this palm beach officials said mitch aka born marcus pettis was being investigated for his possible involvement in a murder probe aspiring florida rapper money mitch died from a self-inflicted inflicted gunshot after a shootout with palm beach sheriff's deputies attempting to arrest a 23 year old on outstanding warrants that's crazy because he was only 23 man but um yeah so it says here also during the press conference late friday afternoon palm beach sheriff's office deputy chief frank demario said the mc born marcus pettis was under surveillance for his possible involvement in a murder investigation which means they was already telling him so before he came out, whatever the case may be, you know, they had to make it be known that they was already watching him. And a lot of people was asking, how did they know he was in this Uber? Why? How did they know he was doing this? But they was already watching him. He was under surveillance for what they say, an involvement in a murder investigation. Now it says about 10 minutes to four, our tactical unit was surveilling a suspect for murder. They also have probable cause on him for drugs, DeMario said. The Uber car the rapper rode in was pulled over. Demario continued and Pettis jumped out of the car and started shooting at us. I don't know how many rounds were fired, six or seven, but he did it in several different locations. Now, one thing I want to point out, because the news tried to make it seem like he was just this radical person going crazy. Now, usually when they come and get you, they don't come and get you in uniforms. Sometimes uh, detectives come and get you and they have on plain clothes. So you don't know who it is coming to get you, especially if they firing shots. Um, this guy of his caliber, this young man, he was young. He probably could have thought anybody was after him. So, you know, he came out shooting. Now, whether they put the sirens on, whatever the case may be, I don't know. You know, that's just another possible um, possibility. I don't like to just put him out there like he was crazy because that's what the news trying to paint him as. Like he just came out, started going crazy and just shooting out of nowhere. All right. So now it says here. Two deputies returned fire as Pettis attempted to flee the scene. They are said to have missed him, but continued their pursuit. Now, y'all remember that. It says, they are said to have missed him, but continued their pursuit. Now, it says here, we followed him to a building and on the second floor, we noticed some blood droppings on the first floor. We thought he was wounded, DeMario said at his press conference. When we got up there, he had died by suicide. All right. Now, remember that part as well. It says, quote, we followed him to a building and on the second floor, we noticed some blood droppings on the first floor. We thought he was wounded. DeMario said at the press conference, when we got up there, he had died by suicide. Now, first and foremost, they said that they missed him. No shots got him. And it's hard to believe. First of all, y'all fired all those rounds and not one shot hit this young man. But now keep in mind, they said that one shot hit him, but at the same time, they seen blood droppings on the floor. So where did those blood droppings come from? He couldn't have committed suicide and kept running. How you commit suicide and still run? Now, 
It says, according to DeMario, the unidentified officers didn't fire their weapons inside the building and didn't have any involvement in the shooting. Now, that's bullcrap. Now, once again, like I said earlier, the unidentified officers didn't fire their weapons. Now, I wonder if they're talking about unidentified as in the clothes they was wearing and maybe they had on their regular plain clothes like some officers do or did they have the uniform? Or when he said unidentified, maybe they just didn't want to put their name for whatever reason. Now it says, quote, two PBSO deputies involved in the shooting are currently on paid admin leave, which is standard department protocol, PBSO tweeted. Florida Department of Law Enforcement will lead the probe alongside PBSO violent crimes detectives and the state's attorney's investigators. Now, once again, they're on paid leave. Who doesn't want to be on paid leave? If I ask any one of y'all to leave y'all job right now and, and you still get paid for, you can do whatever you want. What are you going through? So a lot of these, a lot of times they think that they're doing a punishment to these officers by putting them on paid leave. You're not doing nothing. They want to be at home collecting money. So, cause that's what it is. All you're doing is you just kill somebody and you're on paid leave to, to be around your family and still get paid for it. Who doesn't want to do that? Now, I'm going to get into a few things that I believe that are flawed in this whole situation. First and foremost, already, the whole situation where they saying he committed suicide, they got the whole picture on Twitter with the gun in between his lap. Come on. Come on. Who's believing that? First and foremost, like I said, they said he committed suicide but seen blood droppers on the floor. And they said they didn't hit him, but it was blood droppers on the floor. So nine times out of ten, he did get shot. He was wounded. Somebody did shoot him. And like I said, unfortunately, I didn't know much about this young dude because, of course, these blogs only decide to make his death go viral rather than helping him while he's here. And I always found that weird. Why post about a guy while he's dead, but you won't post him to boost his career while he's alive? You know, it. Maybe if you would have gave this attention to him while he was alive, maybe he could have changed his circumstance and been in a different place and wouldn't be in this, this drama. But it is what it is. And um, another thing, if any of y'all know body language, look at the officer or the sheriff, whoever he is, on why he was talking at the press conference. Look at him good and you tell me if he's not lying or he don't he don't know something that we don't know. Day five minutes, he's looking up, he's pausing, he's ah, oh, the, the. he look like he's lying. And I was skeptical because, like I said, the story that they said, man, is blood droppings on the floor. Right then and there, that's the red flags. That this man was shot. Somebody did shoot him. And one thing you gotta know about cops, when you shoot at them, it's like revenge with them. They're trying, they're not trying to just capture you. No, they're trying to shoot and kill you because they take it per they took it personal that you shot at them. And then they're gonna use the whole old, you know, uh self-defense. We thought he was gonna kill us. Listen, I'm gonna tell you right now. If you ever decide to shoot at the police, nine times out of ten, you're not making it back wherever alive. They're shooting to kill you. They're not trying to capture you. They're not trying to arrest you. None of that. They're shooting to kill you. And also remember, he has a track record with them cops. Even though he was young, he was raised in hell. And I'm sure they was familiar with him and wanted him dead in the first place. So I'm assuming either they shot him and when they got to him, he was bleeding out. And instead of calling help right away... They just let him die before calling the ambulance. Or when they did catch up to him and seeing that he was wounded, they probably just finished him off. All because he shot at them. I'll tell you all the time, man, they take it personal when you shoot at them. It's like an ego thing, and they feel like they got to kill you for that. But whatever it was, man, I doubt he decided to take his own life. Um... Because if he didn't care about dying, he would have just stayed and had a shootout with the cops. He wouldn't even ran in the first place. But the fact that they said blood was leaking and they came back and said that they never shot him. Come on, man. That's a red flag in itself. So if you lie once, what makes you think you're not going to lie again? And to be honest with you, it sounds like he was targeted. It don't. They keep saying, oh, for a murder investigation. Yeah, right. he was targeted. What they need to do is interview any eyewitness or anybody in the building to see if they heard shots going off in the building or nearby the building or 
or maybe they heard a scuffle or heard somebody screaming or something and then a couple shots went off and then it ended because like i said the cops are not going to tell the truth you know and um another thing he was young uh he was a rapper he, he was actually starting to take off a little bit not too much but however he knew little baby little baby knew of him too they follow each other on the um gram and all that and when he died little baby shouted him out on his instagram story but this is what i don't understand he claimed that the little dude was on him every day he said that in the instagram story like yo he was on me every day you know hitting me up or whatever the case may be so if you was messing with his music like you say i'm not saying sign him or anything but why not shout him out and uh promote him in your story the same way you did after he died they said he gained a lot of followers on instagram after his death once little baby shouted him out so just imagine if he was alive and you gave him that little boost where potentially other artists that follow little baby could see money mitch and decide whether they want to do a song with him or maybe sign him i don't get it man I don't, it, it don't take a lot to give someone just an opportunity at least i think these artists low-key don't be wanting to give the shine to up-and-coming artists but you know in like fair that he might take their spot but someone like little baby caliber he already solidified it should be nothing to help someone else out who else um 42 doug he also um shadow him out they also follow each other like all these guys was well aware of him and somewhat you know had a little relationship with him i'm sure they knew what he was going through as well this is why it's important to have people around you that that want to pull you up or change your situation because just think even if little baby didn't sign him and he gave him like you know like yo listen matter of fact come with me come on tour come stay at my crib for a little bit come come over here come do this that probably would have kept him out of the trouble that he was in it would have changed the kid's surroundings or something he probably would still be alive my point so you know and they also said he had drugs with him that was a probable cause he had drugs in the uber and if you know anything about the streets nine times out of ten um he probably was using the uber to get the drugs from one location to another because it's less hot rather than traveling with it you know on your persons especially when police is already on you so you know it is what it is man um rest in peace to this young man money mitch like i said i didn't know much about him until he died which is kind of sad but this is what they do in the culture man so y'all let me know how y'all feel about his death and all the controversy um surrounding his death um did he commit suicide or did the cops kill him? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as y'all keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out. Do you know if the deputies returned fire at that initial they, interaction? They, they didn't return fire, but they didn't hit him.